It's Friday, November 24th, 2023. Let's talk about the news. From the Associated Press, in a shock for Europe, anti-Islam populist Geert Wilders records a massive win in Dutch elections. The far-right Dutch Party for Freedom party is forecast to win 37 of the 150 seats in the Netherlands' lower house of parliament, giving party leader Geert Wilders, a controversial populist politician, the first opportunity to form the country's next governing coalition, and possibly to become its first far-right prime minister as well. This outcome was a bit of a shock, as the Party for Freedom took two more seats than predicted by forecasts, and because the Dutch government has historically been quite tolerant and liberal, while Wilders and his party are the opposite. This is likely to represent a huge shift in local politics, but also in the operation of the EU, which has seen a surge in support for far-right candidates across the bloc over the past few years, and which will potentially be roiled by Wilders, who is not a fan of many EU policies and norms. Though before any of that can happen, he has to successfully form a governing coalition, which is likely, but not guaranteed at this point. From the Wall Street Journal, Binance founder Chung Peng Zhao steps down and pleads guilty. The founder of the world's largest crypto exchange, Binance, Chung Peng Zhao, more commonly known as CZ, has agreed to step down from his post to admit wrongdoing and to pay $4.3 billion in fines after pleading guilty to violating U.S. anti-money laundering laws. This plea deal makes it more likely the company will be able to legally continue operating despite its violation of these regulations. And the issue is that Binance encouraged U.S. users to obscure their location, which allowed the company to dodge anti-money laundering laws, which is a big no-no. That multi-billion dollar fine will be paid by Binance, which is owned by CZ, while CZ himself will pay a criminal fine of $50 million, though that latter amount might be reduced based on civil penalties he's also agreed to pay. Notably, this settlement is happening shortly after the collapse of crypto platform competitor FTX and a court finding its founder, Sam Bankman-Fried, guilty on seven counts with a potential total prison term of up to 115 years. And from Reuters, Taiwan ruling party powers ahead as chaos engulfs opposition campaign. In the lead-up to an election scheduled to be held on January 13th of next year, the front-runner candidate for the incumbent Taiwanese Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP, has said that the opposition isn't a serious, unified bloc, despite efforts to mount a joint challenge to the DPP. The current Taiwanese vice president leads opinion polls at the moment to become the island nation's next president, even though the two primary opposition parties have decided to team up against him. This is notable mostly because China's government sees the DPP as a separatist entity, which they don't like, and the opposition favors a comparable mellowing of relations with China. Tensions remain high in the strait dividing China and Taiwan, the former of which considers the latter to be in rebellion, basically, because of these separatist entities. And this part of the world is generally considered to be a volatile, potential hotspot for near-future and potentially global military confrontation. If you're finding some value in one-sentence news, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.